Now and then, someone comes to me and says, hey, how do I manage to get an audience to start up my ideas communication? My answer is, you don't need an audience. Anyone can have an audience. Hi Dreamers, I'm Ivan Turatti and this is another episode of Keep It Open. Today, we will talk about the fourth step of the Open Idea Path, the open source free auto coaching path you need to follow to start up, develop and empower your ideas communication. So, I will repeat it again. You don't need an audience. If you are searching numbers, if you are searching for vanity metrics that help you feel successful and socially accepted, if you just want an audience to spam them with your idea, well then, just run some Facebook or Google ads, you put money and the right keywords and you instantly get it to hundreds, possibly thousands of persons. If you don't have money, just start dancing or making stupid videos on Instagram or TikTok. But I must advise you, chances are that by doing these things, you will end up just throwing away time or money. Don't get me wrong. Crazy social media content and paid advertising may be great tools and boost your idea to the stars. But, especially if you are starting up, you don't need everyone in the world to know you. You don't need neither everyone in your environment to know you. What you need and want are real persons with an open mind willing to interact with you, give you feedbacks, test your idea, get obsessed with it to the point where they will help you to spread it and make it known to the whole world. You don't want everyone. What you want is to interact with everyone that matters. What you need is a tribe. Persons have to deal with more than one idea on a daily basis. Sometimes it comes natural to relate with the members more than with the idea itself. For example, the fruit seller down the street or the coffee shop you go to every day. But other times we may find ourselves dealing with a company, an enterprise or an association as if it was a person and transferring to it expectations, desires, delusions and criticism. Some ideas do not take into account this phenomenon. We are only seen as clients and or users. We are consequentially treated as such. Instead of trying to talk with us each time they can, they decrease salesmen, shop assistants and externalize call centers. Instead of getting us involved into the evolution of the idea, we are being imposed standards and trends this is no attempt to nurture uh, ties on their side. They no longer care about what we think and will not show us any passion or humanity. In other words, they may have outstanding marketing strategies, but lack people strategies. This type of strategy is paramount, because if clients tend to treat ideas as if they were persons and are willing to let them into their lives, joys and sorrows, it's only because they want someone to relate with. We don't want to be clients, we want to be part of the idea. Obviously, this does not apply for all clients or users. We are talking about those who want to build a relationship with you. Who are those individuals? This is a question to which you may give an answer during this phase of the open idea path. The goal is to create a map of the primary social network your idea needs. In order to find the 20% of individuals who care, we must search for the innovators and the early buyers. They are the ones who interact the most with your idea, the ones that have an extended relational network, the trendsetters, uh, or that are somehow considered influential in your environment. They are the opinion leader. Sometimes, they are naturals, like bloggers or uh, TikTokers, YouTubers, Instagrammers, that are, or just people with a passion. Other times they are professionals, like journalists, cool hunters, or media professionals. For ideas in startup phase, these may be friends, relatives, or someone you know. Sometimes they are the ones that bring in more revenue, but this is not always true. They are those who complain the most and that will take the trouble and the time to tell you what they like it and what they dislike it and do not want to see anymore. Finally, 
They are the ones from who your idea is in an important point of reference. They may share your values and vision of the world or simply have an obsession for the services, products and ideas that you offer. They are your tribe. They are the ones who you have to look for and you must find ways of knowing them, speaking to them and establishing a genuine and lasting relationship. They will be the ones for whom you will need to further structure your communication. If you have few resources, this is the niche you should be investing in. They will bring you to success and will spread the word about what you have to offer. So, go to page 20 of the Open Idea Workbook. Define your tribe and get ready to start some real interactions because you just made it through the first half of the Open Idea Path and now it's time to get creative. So, this was today's episode of Keep It Open. See you next week. Ciao!